Hi my friends, this is Casper the Boy Divine here today back with another video about um, a new deck that I got. I always wanted the Dodali Tarot from Tarot Sheet Revival but shipping has become super expensive because of the current issues that is happening in the world right now. So I decided instead of getting that deck, I got another deck that was already on, on my mind but I thought it was not purchasable for some reason, you know. I've seen this deck around for a while, I've seen it on Hayden's IG channel. This is He's the one who told me, hey, it is still in stock, go get it. And I was like, okay, I'll go get it. And I looked at uh, Simon at the Hermit's Cave, he also did a walkthrough. And I finally got the Perin Tarot. Or Tarot Perin, depends on Tarot G Perin, depending on how you want to call it, pronounce it. Um, I bought the normal box. It also has a more deluxe box, but it was pretty much more expensive. So I thought I should save myself some money since it is a luxurious um, buy in the first place. It comes in this beautiful box. I love the marbling of the of the of the box. So pretty special already, even though it's the standard box. And it comes with a title card with all the information on the tarot. With this, with you know the replicated backing, which is still a little pixelated, but I guess that's the beauty and charm of it. And then it comes with a little book about how it was made, how it was researched, um, nothing about how to use the tarot. Okay, so I thought this would be like my first tarot de Marseille. This is definitely my first historical tarot re reproduction, which I'm excited about. Um, at the same time, I I kind of just assumed that it was going to be a tarot de Marseille, but doing some research. There's a difference between ancient Italian tarot and the Marseille because Marseille is from France, right? So this is actually one of the, the ancient Italian tarot. So this deck was actually done in 1865 and it's reproduced by Giordano Berti who is on, who is on Etsy, that's where I bought this deck. Um, it also shows that there are some similarities between this deck and others. I think it takes a lot from the Soprafino. Here are some examples of the, of the similar ones. But there are some that are totally different. So let me go through the deck card by card and tell you what I think. The first card is the Magician. Now instead of the Magician, it's a Cobbler. You can see that there's the Arabic uh, numeral on the upper, upper right. I like the inclusion of the Arabic numeral to be honest. The La Papessa. <clears throat> the High Priestess. The Empatrice. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this all wrongly, badly. The Emperor. So you can see that there is a white border around the actual card and the card itself is still not like super clear because it is a reproduction. But you can see there's a white border. So to be honest, there was a second deck that has the same name but it's a mass produced deck. And I almost bought that one before everyone told me like, hey, if you're gonna buy a reproduction, buy a real one from Bertie. So that's what it decided to do. But that reproduction, that the mass market one doesn't have the white border. That was what I preferred in that deck. And yet I heard the the that deck, the mass produced one is more yellow, which I really hate in my in my decks. I really don't like that yellow tint, even if it's a reproduction. And this one doesn't seem to have as much of a yellow tint tint. But when I got got this deck, I was slightly disappointed just because it was still more yellow than I expected. So I think you can see how yellow this is. Of course, when I do my videos, I try to do some post-processing to make it look a little better. So maybe I shall hold to let you see how yellow this is. I love this traditional um, the reverse card. You know. But this one is really like more... Do you want to pick your mom or your, your lover? <laughs> the chariot. So Justice is number 8. As usual, I think the Marseille is like that. The Hermit with an oil lamp. The Wheel of Fortune. The Forza. Strength. Il Puduntu. I think I pronounced that wrongly, but um, you know, Hang Ben. Hang Ben. Death. And in the Marseille, they usually don't mention what it is, but because this is not a Marseille and this was a pretty later on deck, it does mention La Morte. I really like that card though. It's, I know it's very um, I know it's pretty standard, but I really enjoy this deck because of the colors and you can see the shading in the deck. La Temperanza, 
this is one of my favorite cards. This is the card that made me notice this this deck. Il Devolo. This is the card. I have never seen such a devil before, so I was like, I gotta get this one. The Tor. The Tower. Lestel. A very peaceful star card. The art is lovely, guys. I, and this is one of my favorite ones, even though it is sort of a, a copy or a very closely inspired by other decks. I like the lobster on the plate and the two two dogs. It really doesn't make much sense, La Luna. Still, Soul. You can see the, the sudden change in... You can see the sudden change in the font. Let me just show you. Not sure why, that's so. I mean, the card stock is super good. Like, let's talk about it later. I have not shuffled this deck at all, but holding in my hands, I really enjoy it so far. The Angelo, the Angel, instead of the Judgment. I'm guessing because of translation stuff, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing it's the Angel. Let me know if you if I'm right, whatever language this is. El Mondo, the world. Very pretty. And then, the Fool. I don't really enjoy this Fool, to be honest. I like just I like jesters as fools, but this one just comes off slightly. I don't know. Anyway, let's go into cups. Ace of cups, two of cups, and then after this one, you know, there's a table here. After this one, it goes back to the the beautiful flourishings in the center. Tom Benjamin recently did a video about Intuitive uh, Marseille, which I have not watched yet and I really want to so that I can understand this deck better. I still haven't had the time to really get into um, buying the Tarot on Earth book. I really want to buy it, um, but I have so many things I'm studying right now, so I'm really trying to pace myself. Like, instead of filming today, I'm supposed to actually study some Feng Shui. Ace of, uh, the page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. I like the kings in this deck. And then instead of the traditional Marseille where they put their brand on this on two of pentacles, they have it on their ace of pentacles. Then the two of pentacles is also very elaborate. And then we go back to the normal uh, flourishings. I really enjoy this deck because it has the Arabic and the Roman numeral. If you watched my uh, Archetypes deck review, you would know how I feel about Roman numerals. Not that it isn't um, very beautiful, I like how it's re represented. I can see people getting tattoos with the date Roman numerals as dates, but I, I don't think it's very practical. And I like the shapes of the uh, Arabic numerals to be honest. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles or Page of Points, the Knight of Points, the Queen of Points, and the King of Points. I hope the lighting is okay. I don't have great lighting uh, in this setup. I wanted to say Ace of Clubs and I'm not sure but Wands, maybe Two of Wands. So this one doesn't have anything special with the twos, it's just straight into the flourishings and the beautiful styling, four of wands. So I see that you know they printed it twice, so both ways it doesn't make a difference. You see, it doesn't make a difference. So I, I'm not sure I'm not sure if people read reversals with uh, Marseille. I don't often do that um, with my pip cards that are like this, you know. Because for the cups, there is definitely a up and down. So, you know, it's a, a strange um, thing. Should I read with reversals for only the cups and, and the coins? Because, you know, there's some differentiation. Let me know what you think, guys. And if you're enjoying this video, I know this is out of nowhere, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Super helps me out. The Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I really like this, the, the clubs, okay? It, it legit is a club. Look at her holding a baseball bat. This is how, you know, I might look if I I don't live in Singapore because I have a lot of anxiety. I, I'm always afraid of people coming in somehow. But in Singapore, it's pretty safe. So I'm really glad I live in my country. 
Ace of Swords. Again, with the swords, they have both um, both numerals facing a certain way. Look at how antique this looks. So the white border really does make you know that this is definitely a reproduction. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm guessing maybe with the how they created this and the beautiful cardstock, there was no way to get rid of that white border. And I definitely will not be trimming this. This deck is too expensive for me to do any no modif modification to it. I will not touch it. All my deck modifications have not done gone really well. So I better be wary. And the knights. I really like the knights. The Queen of Spades and the King of Spades. Okay, now that I have finished, I can finally shuffle this for the first time. But holding this in my hands, it feels really nice. Um, I felt like that. I'm not even sure whether this deck is coded. I really don't know because um, usually you code a deck to make sure it, um, you know, the ink doesn't fly away or like rub off after a while. So I'm really not sure. Oh gosh, I dropped a card immediately. But it, it is it feels really light. It feels really light and easy to shuffle. Can you hear that? It feels really light and easy to shuffle. Oh it really shuffles like butter. I think um i I'm not sure, I think Simon also mentioned this in his video. So did um Hayden is telling me that this card stock is really divine and this is the first time I felt this kind of card stock really like almost uncoded um, matte. My fear is that the more I shuffle, maybe the artwork would disappear as I go along, but I really hope not because it feels so good, guys. Oh, I feel so good. I'm gonna I might do a video soon about um my favorite card stock in all my decks. Uh, if you're interested in knowing that uh, or seeing a video like that, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments. I want to see your deck. I want to see your video on card stock. Oh, it feels so good. Let me see if it ruffles shuffles. Mm, it's a bit stiff for ruffle shuffling, so I'm not sure if I want to do that ever. But overhanding it feels great. Now I've introduced reversals because of how I did that, even though I'm not sure whether I want to read a reversal, so let's see what happens. Oh, but it really shuffles well. Okay, I uh, hope you didn't mind my end ramblings about how good the, the card stock is. If you enjoyed this video, again, like, subscribe, comment, and you guys have a great rest of the day, okay? You take care. Bye!